Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add AI turrets to Survival Game Kit. So this is a uh, continuation from the um, Smart AI integration tutorial, so where we added Smart AI to Survival Game Kit. Um, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, make build parts that are the turrets from Smart AI. So we're going to start by going to the um, Smart AI Blueprints AI folder. Then we're going to go to the AI characters and open up the master uh, turret. And I'll bring that over here. And we're going to go to class settings and we're going to reparent uh, the um, class. And we're going to search for master build part and select that. Once that's done, you'll see we get a bunch of uh, new um, components over here. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is select the mesh component and we'll go over to the settings over here and we want to untick visible on rendering and compile that. Once that's compiled we're going to head over to the smart AI folder again then to blueprints AI components and then the turret AI component and we're going to go to our event graph and over by the begin play we're going to just drag this back a bit so we've got some space and we're going to do um, we're going to copy get owner and we're going to cast to master build part like that connect this up and then we're going to drag off from the uh, blue pin here and we're going to do promote to variable we'll call this build part and we'll connect that up to here and we want the cast failed to connect up to the cast as well like that. Next we're going to create a new function and we're going to call this owner check and we'll add an input pin of an actor and we'll call it character. So we'll drag out from there and do get component by class search for a uh, player inventory component and if that's valid we want to uh, get our player's name so get player name and then we're going to use our new build part variable and we're going to do get owners and we can drag out from that and do contains item and we can just connect that up to player name and it will create this node for us. And uh, one thing we do want to do is copy and paste our build part and do is valid. Like that. And then we're going to do uh, drag out from the is not valid and we'll uh, search for return. And we want to add a return node. And then with that selected, we're going to add on an output. And that will be boolean and it will be um, owner. So we'll copy and paste that over here as well. And then we want to do um, a, sec a third one. So we'll connect that up to is valid and we'll connect this, this uh, bool node to the contains um, thing. So what this function will do is basically check if the um, the actor that the turret's detected, if it's an owner, if it's, um, and next we're gonna go to the perception check and we're gonna make it so that if the turret sees a player that's an owner, um, it won't attack it. So in um, the perception check function, we're gonna go over to here and we're gonna use our owner check and we'll connect it up to here. You can spend a little bit of time making some more space if you like. Actually, we'll move this along so it's a bit tidier, like that. And we will do an if node coming out of here, or a branch, connect up to owner, and true, um, sorry, false up to this branch node here, because we want it to attack if it's not an owner. And then we want to get the target actor, L, and connect that up to character. So now we can compile and save this. Next, we're gonna go back to our showcase. We're gonna go Smart AI Blueprints, AI, AI Characters, Examples, and then Turrets, and open up the Canon Turret. 
and we're going to uh, over here by the turret destroyed effect we're going to search for multicast destroy and this means that uh, as a build part when it um, gets destroyed we'll run these effects um, down here we're going to do um, drag off fit and do set health uh, set current health like that and we'll drag out from here and do get max health like that um, we're also going to um, so this blueprint um, there's two there's normally two versions of a blueprint in the survival game kit one is for um, is the one that the player will spawn when it spawns in a um, a build part and then the other is for if you drag it and place it in the world like this um, so we're just going to set up the settings for if you drag it and place it in the world and the way to do that is if we go to class defaults we go to build part info so name will be the uh, name of it that um, comes up when the player gets close enough and the health bar comes up so for this I'm just going to name it turret like that and then max health is it's max health so just for an example I'm going to set this to 50 like that um, keep in mind this is only for if you um, actually drag this blueprint into the world like this that those settings won't affect um, the build part that the player spawns when it places his turret down um, we'll do those settings in a moment um, but if you want to be able to drag it, the blueprint into the world um, you can set the max health and the name here so once we've done that, we can save this blueprint. Next, we're gonna create the build part for our new turret. So we're gonna to go to content and we're gonna search for build part uh, list and we're gonna open up the build part list. And here we're gonna create a new row and we're gonna call this turret. And I'm gonna set the name to turret as well. You can name this whatever you like. Um, the type will be uh, decoration uh, description you can add one if you like I'm just gonna leave it blank health uh, I'm gonna set it to 50 <clears throat> um, I'm gonna enable take damage rotation and I'm gonna set rotation increments to 90 um, I'm going to uh, leave upgrade and repair item for now um, the build class I'm gonna set to um, cannon so our, our cannon turret and our static mesh I'll come back to um, and our building cost um, we'll come back to as well so for the mesh we um, this is our preview mesh so you may have a situation where um, your turrets made out of um, made out of two meshes for the base and for the actual turret like the included mesh so we have two um, a way to combine these inside of Unreal is to first drag in your turret and then we can uh, drag in the top part and um, what you want to do is select the base first because we need the pivot point in the bottom center of your mesh and then we select hold control and uh, select the turret part and then we go over to window uh, developer tools and then we find merge actors here we just leave everything as it is and hit merge actors and we'll name this turret and we'll hit save and now we have a static mesh that is both of those pieces combined like that um, so now we can go back to our build part list and we can set our static mesh here to the turret one we just created uh, which is here and um, next we're going to go over to our item list to create the item for our turret so um, we can go into survival game kit and just search for item list and we'll open that up and we're going to create a new row and we're going to call this turret now it's important that you um, oh I already have one so I'm just going to delete that one quickly um, click uh, new row and we're going to name this turret now it's important that you um, name the row the exact same as the row from the build part list you can see I've got the exact same name because this is what tells um, the item what build part uh, it's for so um, our name we're just going to name it turret description you can add if you'd like um, I'm going to set the weight to one category must be set to building 
um, we can leave all of these alone I'll take droppable and stackable and set the max stack to 1 and use text we want to set to um, I'll just set mine to build and uh, we want to set the icon I'm just going to use the beans icon because I don't have one for the turret um, the world mesh I'm just going to use the uh, bag mesh um, and these look okay so we can save this now we need to go back to our build part list because we need to set the building cost for our turret um, to the item we just created so we're going to go building cost open uh, item one we'll set the data table to item list and we'll set the drop down to our turret that we just created and we'll set the item count to one and now we can save this so that sets the cost of placing one of these turrets to one of the item the turret item we just created so next we're going to go to the showcase and we're going to search in the survival game kit for master item and we're going to right click the master item and create a child blueprint and we'll call this bp on uh, bp underscore turret world item and it will disappear but don't worry about that because we can uh, search for it again turret and we're going to open this up and in our class defaults we're going to go to selected item and set the row name to our turret and we can compile and save that so now uh, we can drag this into the world and that gives us our turret item we can pick up and our player will be able to place Next, uh, there's going to be a few things that we want to do uh, before we finish. So I'm going to jump back to the BP Cannon uh, turret and we're going to select the uh, Mesh Inherited and we want to make sure that the um, Collision Responses is set to Ignore. Um, you're going to want to go through and do it for all of these ones that I'm selecting here, but only these ones. Um, you want to make sure that your turret base and turret um, components are blocking the weapon trace because these are the um, the meshes that we want the weapons to be able to hit and these ones we, we don't want the weapons hitting these. So um, once you've done that you can just hit compile and the one other thing that uh, we're going to just quickly check is if you go to survival game kit blueprints and you search for uh, build preview. Um, we can open up the build preview blueprint and in here um, you may or may not already have this set but it's worth checking um, select the selected mesh and make sure that that is set to ignore the weapon trace so you can see mine set to ignore here and we want to make sure that it's the same for the safe overlap check so we can open up the collision presets here and mine is set to ignore so that's good and also the same for the plot pole check so that is also set to ignore so that's good but um if yours isn't then you can just tick that so um and that's just to make sure that our build preview doesn't interfere with any of our weapons um once that's done we can hit play and try it out so uh, we're going to pick up our turret here and place it into the world we can rotate him um we can place him in and we've got our health bar the names all showing correctly um, you notice he's not attacking me, even though the smart AI component um, on this turret is set to attack players. And the reason for that is this turret, I'm an owner of this turret, so he's not going to attack me. If another player comes along that isn't an owner of this turret, the turret will attack them. And we can just double check quickly that our destroy effect's working. Um, we connected this up earlier to make sure that our explosion happens. So we can just double check that now. And we can see that's working. Our turret's destroying correctly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you have any questions or uh, anything like that, you can leave a comment. Um, don't forget to join our Discord and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.